All right. Please stand up for a prayer. Yes, please, Miss Reyes, lead us a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, good morning, class. All right. So, please pick up pieces of paper under your chairs. And please do settle down after doing so. All right. Please settle down, everybody. Very good. So, now I guess everybody is good. So, Beadle, can you check the attendance? All right. Thank you, Miss Beadle. So, now I have a question. How are you feeling today, everyone? Wow, that's good to hear. So, before anything else, I have here a three rules for you guys to follow during our class. First, I have respect. So when we say respect, what does it mean? I respect you, you respect me as your teacher. We can be friends, but know your limitations. Second, cooperation or participation. So if I am going to ask you, do not answer me on chorus, raise your hand, and you can answer then. So that would be our second rule. The third one would be polite. So when we say polite, each of us has different struggles in life, right? So I want you all to be polite to each of everybody because you don't know what he or she is going through these days. So polite and be kind to everyone. Am I clear, everybody? All right. So, now let us proceed to our discussion. Now, I have here a four pictures. So, this will be a four-pick one word. All right. So, as you can see, there is a picture of a pen, a paper, an ink, and an easy word. So, how or what can you say or what do you think is the word for that four picture? Yes? Alright. But let's do the right word. Yes, Miss Reyes. Correct. That would be easy. Now that you have noticed those pictures, you have come to a word. And that is Issei. Alright. Now, I have a question for you. So, when you hear the word Issei, what comes to your mind? Yes, Miss Cruz. That would be... Any other idea? Yes, Miss Perez. Correct. So, before anything else, for today, we will going to achieve three things. First is to define what is Issei. Second is to discuss the differences of the two kinds of it. And third is to make your own essay. Now, when we say essay, it is a literary composition that deals with a single subject from expressing the author's position or ideas preferred to his point of view. What does that mean? That means that it is based on your idea, based on the facts, and it varies from the given topic that is given to you. Example, if I am going to ask you to how this pandemic has impacted your life. So, um, in thinking of those answers, you have come to, to write your own idea, your feelings, like the way it impacted your life, the way it changed your life. The way it changed everything planned that is happening around you, right? So, you will be writing things maybe based on your own feelings. Maybe some facts that you have seen on the television or some articles that you have read. Anything that is based and from expressing your opinions and from expressing your thought about that specific idea, it will be called an essay. Did you get me? Am I clear? Alright. So, now I have here a diagram. So, as you can see, 
there are two types of essay. The first one is formal and the second one is informal. Now, when we are going to define a formal essay, it is short and relatively impersonal composition in prose. Example for that would be a compare and contrast, illustrating, um, cause and effect, and an argument essay. Remember, a formal essay is a type of writing that includes not only essays but also letters, reports, and job applications that is written in a formal style with the usage of a strong vocabulary. So, in writing a formal essay, all rules of punctuations and grammars are observed. Am I clear, everyone? Alright, very good. Now, let us proceed to the second type of essay, which is the informal essay. When we say informal essay, it is an essay that is a short prose composition like a creative nonfiction characterized by the quality of the personal writing and the distinctive voice or a persona of the easiest. It is or it will be your own opinion or your idea based on the topic that is given to you. So remember that in an informal essay, it is not as strict as a formal essay when it comes to formatting and the language used. So instead, it is written in a more conversational style. So informal essays can still be informative or reflect a certain perspective effectively. It is just that it is more loosely written. Am I clear? Did you get me? Alright, so for more clarifications, I have here a compare and contrast that is or that will be your guide to how are you going to know if an essay is a formal or an informal essay. Alright, now may I request Mr. Juan to place the diagram in front. Alright, very good. Thank you, Mr. Juan. So, as you notice, in the formal essay, it is objective, um, straightforward, and serious. While in the informal essay, it is conversational, light, free from restraint, and relaxed. So, both essays um, point or prove a point or an idea to a certain topic so am i clear everyone is there any clarifications with regards to what is essay and um the differences of the two types of it don't you have any questions regarding that so if there is none let us now proceed to discussing the tips or guides on how to write an essay so now let us continue the discussion Pardon me if you will hear unnecessary noises, class. So, since we are done discussing what is essay, what are the two kinds of essay, what are their similarity and differences, I want you to open the quizzes app and you will see there the tips or guides in writing an essay. So, number one, we have here pick a topic. Unless the teacher will be the one to provide you the topic and determine what kind of essay you will be going to write. Is it formal or informal? Next is make an outline. In making an outline, you have to put all your ideas there. Are you going to persuade? Are you going to explain? Or are you telling a story? Third is write an introduction. In making an introduction, you have to make it a uh, you have to make it appealing. You have to make it hook the readers. Uh, make it, make the readers be curious, okay? Uh, you can write it in a two to three sentences. Uh, you, you, you can also write it in a, um, in a quotable way or in a, ends it with a question mark. So next is write 
the body and after that you will write the conclusion and lastly is to review your work why do we need to review our work because there are some times that um, there are misspelled words there are grammatical errors or there are missing words so do you now understand class the tips and the guides on how to write an essay very good so now let us refresh your memory class again i would like to remind you that if you want to answer please raise your hand and do not answer in chorus understand all right so what is essay yes mr cruz very good so what are the two kinds of essay yes miss ocampo very good miss ocampo so class what do you think are their differences and similarity any idea please do not be afraid to answer yes mr juan very good so i think um you already understand understood our lesson for today very good class so class why is it important to learn the two kinds of essay please do not be afraid to answer and raise your hand yes miss cruz yes very good miss cruz any idea do you have any idea why do we need to study or learn the two kinds of essay yes mr dimagiba yes very good thank you for that so we need to learn the two kinds of essay so that we can distinguish what kind of essay we are going to write or what kinds of essay we are reading so very good class so for your activity visit your edmodo app and write an informal essay about the topic my favorite thing to do during summer vacation the words should not less than 150 words and not more than 200 words all right understand class you may now start your activity so for your group activity group yourselves into five and visit the edmodo app again i have posted there the questions and please list down your group mates who did not participate for the said activity understand class okay you may now start answering all right time's up class step answering so do you have any questions regarding our topic if none so for your assignment i want you to write a formal essay about the topic effects of the pollution this will also be posted in the edmodo and please be prepared because next meeting we will be having a presentation so good luck guys again questions clarifications violent reactions none so let us pray um, miss jazz kindly lead the prayer first in the name of the father the son the holy spirit amen so that would be all class thank you and goodbye